Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now in this episode, we're going to talk about time management, which is probably one of the most important things you need to worry about in undergrad. Now, if you think back to high school, you didn't have to worry about time management all that much because like half or the half or more of your day was already managed for you. Uh, like in high school, you had like your first period classes and then your second period, and like you had a bunch, and they're all back to back with little mini. Um, breaks and you had lunch and so forth. So all the time you spent in school, in high school, it was all controlled. They had managed it to be effective. Now that you're in uh, college, you know that you have classes some in the morning, some at night. Maybe you have classes back to back. Maybe you have a one or two hour break in between classes. And you are really in control of how you spend your time from the moment you wake up to when you go to bed. And so if you want to be successful at having extra time to do things that you want to do outside academia, doing well in your academics and having the luxury of having like guilt free time where you're like, you know what, all my stuff's in order, I'm doing well, I can just, you know, I have always free hours for myself to do whatever I want. If you want to be able to achieve that, you have to have good time management. And if you watch the other videos about like um, how to take tests well, you'll notice time management is really big even like in a testing environment. And if you looked at that video about um, like writing condensed notes, that um, studying update that I put out, here's a link, um, you'll notice that time management is also a key to that. So for time management, it's, it's like the best thing you can do because you'll be in control of your life, you'll do well in your academics, you know, free time to do what you want, which is, you know, that's, that's a really nice setup. So what can you do for time management? There's two parts to it. Setting up a really nice daily schedule and the second part, adhering to it. Here's like a big warning. The hardest part is adhering to it. We'll walk through the whole setting up of your daily schedule. But adhering to it is the most difficult part because it's not always fun to adhere to a really good schedule because, you know, you have to be on top of things, you don't waste time, but in the end, you have these blocks of time where you get to do what you want, so you're not wasting any time. So let's talk about how to set up a schedule. Well, it starts off with what time you got to wake up. Um, if your first class is at 8 a.m., um, well, you got to wake up around like 7 or 7.30 or sometime around there to get to class on time. So that's already kind of figured out for you. If your class, say, on a certain day doesn't start until like 11 a.m. or something, get up early. I mean, I know you're... See, see adhering to a schedule is not easy. You tell yourself, okay, tomorrow i got to get up at 7 a.m., like every day that I do. Well, even on the days in which you don't have an early morning class, get up! Study, review your notes, do something effective during that time. And there's two big benefits to that. The first is, you're getting up early, so you're kind of keeping the same schedule throughout your week. Say you have like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. course, and on Tuesday and Thursdays, your first course doesn't begin until like 11 a.m. It's not smart to get up at 7 Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then get up like at 10 on Tuesday and Thursday. Keep that, so like for like your Monday through Friday, really keep it, keep it strict and tight. Get up at the same time, try to go to bed at the same time. Having that kind of routine is really going to do well because when you wake up you won't be groggy, your body's in this like natural system, it just works out. I don't know the logistics, the physiology, or whatever is involved in it, but if you get up at the same time, go to bed around the same time, every day during the week, it, it, it just works really well, you feel awesome, it, it just works well. Simple as that. So if you have an early morning class, get up at 7. If every day of the week you don't have class until day, or if you only have night classes, get up early. The earlier you start your day, the more hours you have to do stuff. A lot of us think like, oh, well a day is 24 hours. A day is not 24 hours. That's the biggest lie in the world. A day contains 24 hours. You only have about 16 hours to do stuff in it. Give yourself 7 to 8 hours to sleep, 16 to 17 hours in a day to do stuff. Let's say you're ideal and you get 8 hours of sleep. That leaves you with 16 hours of stuff to do in a day. 
you have lecture that takes up so many hours, you have gap times between classes, lunch, um, just commuting, eating, um, laundry, dishes, all the other stuff is just being, you know, being alive and doing stuff. That you have to get all done in 16 hours, which sounds like a lot, but when you think about, okay, so you have like three lectures a day, that's three hours gone there. If you have lab, that's like four hours in a day, that's like seven on that day. Time really starts to go by fast, and you realize, oh, there's not a lot of time to do stuff. And if you want to bring in exercising and extracurriculars, you got to manage it well. So think about your day in a 16 hour block as opposed to a 24. That sleeping part, we're not going to count that towards the time you can do stuff. What you're doing is sleeping and getting yourself ready for the next day. So every day, get up early. Um, at that point, you're up, you're doing things, you get the whole full day ahead of you, it's perfect. When you, even like when you wake up late, you know this. Say you wake up like at 10, you already know, oh, it's kind of already late. And you always feel like, oh, the most of the day is already gone. Pretty soon it's noon, pretty soon it's 3, pretty soon it's 7. You know, you're like, oh, the whole day went by. You didn't take full advantage because it feels like the day went by and you were kind of trying to play catch up. So get up early is a perfect start. And get up that time every day of the week. So that was the first thing, getting up early. I know I spent a lot of time on that because it's a hard thing to do and adherence is really important and I want you guys to do it. So we kind of sat on that for a little bit, but hopefully I got the point across. Getting up early only benefits and over a while your adherence becomes easier, more simple because your body's kind of used to it. So you get up. If you got early morning classes, excellent. Go to them. Take care of that. Now let's say you don't have a first, you know, your class doesn't start till like 11 or 12 or whatever, um, or 10 even. What are you going to do from the time you wake up till that time? You can goof off. Sure, sure. Not good time managing skills. If you remember in the beginning of the video, I said we got to set up a daily schedule for you. And I really meant daily, like every day, you know, every hour, you're going to know what you're going to be doing. Gap time. What are you going to do with gap time? If you have gap time, because you have like a 10 or 11 a.m. class for your first class, during that time, study. Pre-read for the class or for the lecture. It's only going to help you retain the material. Don't kind of spend time goofing off. Or, if, if you like, spend those hours strictly telling yourself, okay, I got certain things I need to get done. I need to go grocery shopping, I need to do laundry, and do them quick and efficiently in that time and organize out how long it's going to take. It's, at first, you'll have a hard time trying to guess how long things take to do, so you usually underestimate it, like, oh, I'll get all my shopping done in like 20 minutes, but it ends up taking you like 40. So you'll learn quickly how long certain things take for you, and you can adjust your schedule accordingly or learn how to speed it up. But, um, so when you have gap time like that, use it efficiently. Now, say you have gap time not in the beginning of the day, but in between or throughout your day. So say you had a lecture, and now you have a one-hour block in between your next lecture, or even like 30 minutes or 15 minutes. Don't waste that time. It's the most classic move. You always see people in between lecture, like, standing around, talking, hanging out, getting something to eat. They're just totally just spending time socializing and kind of not really using their time to, the, to their best advantage. And it's fine to socialize, it's fine to do all that, it's fun. But the whole point I'm trying to get at is that if during your day when you're kind of in, like, lecture and you're focused and you're kind of doing these things, if you continue that mode of focus for throughout your day, then you can have, like, a focused socializing and relaxing time later in the day when you're kind of in a more relaxing mode and not trying to focus. So say you just finished a lecture and you have like 30 minutes or so until your next class. Instead of spending that 30 minutes hanging out, talking, or just goofing off, spend that 30 minutes going over the notes for the class you just finished so they're fresh and you're reviewing them again, you know, repeat, you know repetition, getting it in your mind, organizing your notes, doing whatever, reading some of the text, or pre-read for the next lecture you have coming up, which again is going to help you organize a lecture as you're taking it for the first time. So the whole point there is you have those times in between academic settings where if you keep yourself going, you're going to really get yourself ahead because now, say you reviewed your notes or you pre-read, if you reviewed your notes, now you have to spend less time later reviewing your notes and studying. Or if you pre-read, you're going to have better lecture notes, which will serve you better later. So when you're in these kind of academic settings, continue the academic mindset. Adherence is not easy. It's super easy to start just hanging out talking to someone or 
doing anything else. But if you can, kind of get yourself in a corner somewhere, start slamming some notes, read some text, keep yourself focused, and go to the next class. And when you get there, you're going to be ready to go because you're already like in the zone instead of having to get into the mood of lecture. So that's small gap time. Large gap time, again, decide is it good for you to study, is it good for you to get like chores and things done, whatever you need to to make your life kind of running smooth. So that's what you do throughout the day. Now let's say it comes until later day, what are you doing when you get home? Well if you watch that video about like writing those condensed notes, here's the link again. Um, now comes the time, the hard part, of studying all day. Where you gotta go through the text, read everything, write condensed notes, start pre-reading for the next day, doing all these things. Getting a lot of your academia done. That's what you do at the, you know, later on in the day when, when the lecture's over. It's not easy, I know. And it's a lot of work to, you know, to do every day in and out. But the big thing here is, I should make this a title, do not sleep until your work is done. And I know that that sounds completely contradictory to everything else I've been saying in, these, in this whole channel of getting sleep and managing your time properly. But this whole, what I'm trying to say here is don't pull an all-nighter or anything crazy. But if you're like writing your notes throughout the day or like you're studying and you start to get tired, push yourself just to get your notes done in your time period. Finish your studying of learning and writing in the notes that day because when tomorrow comes you've got a full load of lectures again and if you didn't have time today to get what you, you know, all the lectures of today done, you're not going to have time tomorrow to get all those lectures done and the leftovers of today. So stay awake an hour or two after and just get your notes done. Don't worry about retention. When you review them later, you can, you know, ret learn it then. Just get the hard comprehension and get the critical points down on the notes and then, you know, then go to bed knowing that you've got that done. This is going to serve you hugely when the weekend comes. Weekends are just all review instead of trying to learn all the material, say like a Monday test. Everyone else is going to be trying to learn the material and um, you know cram me to get it all in over the weekend. You've already done that because you worked really hard at the week. So now you get to kind of relax on the weekends. You got free time, it's guilt free time, you've already like studied everything, you're just reviewing on the weekends, getting that repetition going, and now you, you have a lot of free time on the weekends to just review, get the details down, you're doing great, and you're relaxed and calm, everything's good. So having that strict schedule, Monday through Friday, getting up early, using your gap times well academically, or with chores if you have a lot of more gap time, um, staying academically focused in the evening, getting your notes done, going to sleep just a little bit later is okay, you know, get your work done today, don't put it off till tomorrow, get, and you know, go to bed at a reasonable time, we already said like seven to eight hours, you're good, man, I mean, what more could you ask for at that point? Weekends come, you're chill, you got all this time for extracurricular activities, everything is set. So time management in the academic sense, that's a really simple one. Um, so what you need to do is figure out for yourself how long are my lectures, how long are my gap periods, what can I do in my gap periods, how long does it take me to do certain things. Write notes, read text, do certain things like with PowerPoints or handouts or do laundry or do these things. You need to figure out, okay, so now I have this you know, general idea of how I'm going to do time management. Here's my you know, structure. Now I need to figure out the specifics of how much time I'm going to get each activity contingent upon how long I take. You figure that out for yourself, it's easy. I mean, just figure out how long things take. Stick with the structure I just gave you, and you're set, man. I and mean, what more could you ask for at that point? You got a nice schedule, you know how long things take, you stick to it, it keeps you going fast so you don't slow down, you get stuff done. Weekends are all relaxed and just review for you, you do well on the test. That's a good life. I mean, you gotta admit, it's a good undergraduate life. That's simple, it's nice. I wish I knew all that, you know, kind of learned the hard way there, but, you know, it's the whole point of this channel, trying to get you guys not to go through all the mistakes that I had to go to. And again, so now we got all this stuff figured out, the most important part is the adherence. You can have the world's most beautiful schedules, perfect down to the minute, but you're not adhering to it. Completely worthless. Just throw it away. You know, give it to someone else who will use it. The sooner you start adhering to that schedule, it's really hard in the beginning because you just kind of want to slack off, you just kind of want to do your own thing, have free time. But the sooner you adhere to it, the sooner it kind of gets normal to you and in your system. Your weekdays, yeah, they're hard. Your weekends, the most chill thing ever compared to everyone else. 
You come into a test on Monday, you've had a great weekend, it's been chill, you know all the details, you're good. So, those are, those are my notes on time management. Let me know if you guys have any questions, post them below, send me a message. Again, all these videos are viewer driven, so give me a question, I'll make a video on it. You know, you guys really do control this channel, and I'll spend time researching and thinking and trying to figure out good answers. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like, if uh, you're not already a subscriber. If you want, send a video to your friends, share it, Facebook, tweet it, do whatever you like. And uh, thanks for watching guys, and keep enjoying your studies. Half or more of your day was already managed for you. Uh, like in high school, you have like your first period classes, and then your second period, and like you had a bunch, and they're all back to back with little mini um, breaks, and you had lunch and so forth. So all the time you spent in school in high school, it was all controlled. They had managed it to be effective. Now that you're in uh, college, you know that you have classes some in the morning, some at night. Maybe you have classes back to back. Maybe you have a one or two hour break in between classes. And you are really in control of how you spend your time from the moment you wake up to when you go to bed. And so if you want to be successful at having extra time to do things that you want to do outside academia, doing well in your academics, and having the luxury of having like guilt-free time where you're like, you know what, all my stuff's in order, I'm doing well, I can just, you know, I have always free hours for myself to do whatever I want. If you want to be able to achieve that, you have to have good time, which is, you know, that's, that's a really nice setup. So what can you do for time management? There's two parts to it. Setting up a really nice daily schedule, and the second part, adhering to it. Here's like a big warning. The hardest part is adhering to it. We'll walk through the whole setting up of your daily schedule. But adhering to it is the most difficult part because it's not always fun to adhere to a management. And if you watch the other videos about like um, how to take tests well, you'll notice time management's really big even like in a testing environment. And if you looked at that video about um, like writing condensed notes, that um, studying update that I put out, here's a link. Um, you'll notice that time management is also a key to that. So for time management, it's, it's like the best thing you can do because you'll be in control of your life, you'll do well in your academics, and you'll have free time to do what you want. Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now in this episode, we're going to talk about time management which is probably one of the most important things you need to worry about in undergrad. Now, if you think back to high school, you didn't have to worry about time management all that much because like half or the 